okay sometimes now uh, when we get surveys from the site or now uh, when we are faced with an irregularly shaped boundary we need to create a boundary in uh, x cube which is not necessarily a square or a rectangle or a fixed edge now uh, especially in the case with cones so this tutorial is about creating irregular shape boundaries and also now uh, to deal with the points which we get from site okay so let's first of all start creating a curve or nerves curve through all these points so we go selecting in sequence Okay, and you see it has created a nice nerves curve because it is degree 3 and it is interpolated curve. I say yes, and now you have got this boundary. Also, you need a boundary for the top, and we know for since this is the centroid, we know from the steel drawings that we had a we had a ring of 600 dia. So I'm just going to create a circle at this point of point six and I'm going to create a vertical line just for my reference about a meter okay and now save this and the thing is that I also want to split it in four parts so that I can you know, use those points as the end of this course so I should using the split command I will split this at this four intersection points. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, and this curve at the top. Okay, so now I shall start X cube. Okay, and use FDM. So, mm -hmm. okay, and just put this geometry what we copy over here to this point, layer 3 as a cat layer, and say okay. Now, there should be four curves, okay, 3 and 4. You see there is an end point and then there is this point which we can use to change the curve since it is a nerves curve. Okay, so now I am going to make a cone. Let us say 21 points by 21 points, 1 by 3 as the C values, beam, cone tapers as we know 0.3, beam. So we go by we have an endpoint somewhere here. Endpoint, endpoint, endpoint. Okay, somewhere over here. Yeah, endpoint. And then we just say close and we put the head ring over here. Okay, and end this. So now we have four boundaries, very nice straight boundaries. 1, 2, 3, 4 and the fifth one is the head ring. Now as far as the head ring is concerned we, we, we don't need to change it but as far as this boundary is concerned we want to make the straight line to this nerves curve that we have imported. So we shall select this line and then we shall use this command which is called deform chain to curve command and click and then you select on the chain origin and then you select the curve and then you should see the lines going straight okay if not then you can flip them and they should if they are going like this because this point is going over here and so on and so forth so they should be straight so we say apply and this point will move to this edge automatically dividing it into equal number of parts 
it is always advisable to have many number of elements so that you get a smoother curve so again this point start select say apply okay this point okay this this apply and the last one origin and say apply okay i will just run this through because we are going to use only form finding and you say form find okay and you say save this command so Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.